Hey everybody, Daniel from Space Dock here. Last time I did one of these bad design videos, it was about a ship that I've never really cared for from a visual standpoint anyway, the Slave 1. Now I'm going to prove that I'm unbiased by pointing out problems, or rather the one big problem, with a ship that I actually like quite a lot, the Nubian N1 Starfighter. The problem is engine layout. The N1 has big, powerful sublight engines, which can apparently accelerate the fighter at a completely ludicrous 3750 G. But the engines are extended on long pylons that make them fairly easy targets. Now if you're flying, say, a Gian Ocean Starfighter at that kind of acceleration, and suddenly your engine gets destroyed, you're in trouble because you're going to be drifting in a straight line at an absurd velocity until you're somehow rescued. But if you're flying an N1 and lose one of your engines but not not the other, you're in far worse trouble. When a Naboo starfighter loses a single engine, it basically becomes a giant lever in space, and the remaining engine is going to put the ship into a flat spin at terrifying speed. Now it's possible that the space magic inertial dampeners used in Star Wars are powerful enough to keep the pilot from turning into jam as soon as this happens, and the acceleration these ships can reach certainly seems to suggest that they are powerful enough, but I'm not sure the ship itself could survive the stress long enough to reverse thrust on its remaining engine. Nubian fighters are built for ceremony and display, not military service, and the materials they are constructed from are not the most durable. Plus, the part of the frame to which the engine is mounted is narrow and vulnerable. A sudden loss of acceleration on one side of the ship could easily lead the remaining engine to tear itself from its mounting, or even tear the entire craft in half. With that said though, Star Wars is science fantasy, and its writers and designers are under no obligation to adhere to real physics, so I'm still a big fan of the N1. I'd also like to point out that the ship's gun placement is excellent, creating a tight firing arc that will almost always land hits from both weapons. Far too often in science fiction we see craft with guns spread far apart from each other, making it extremely difficult to fire at close range, or to focus both weapons on a single target without the use of extensive gimbals. This is Daniel from Space Dock, signing off.